Hey everyone, it's Zoe here from Octo Studio, also known as Zinnia, and recently I made a video on how to make a cooking game in Octo Studio, and I wanted to make a part two and show you how you could add more to that game by adding variables and more. So, in part one, we made a game where a player can add ingredients to a bowl to create a recipe. The one problem with what we have so far is that when the project starts, the player could just tap on the bowl right away without adding any of the ingredients and just get the final recipe. So one way we can change that is we'll only let the player turn the bowl into the cake if they have added at least two ingredients. So to do that, we can make a variable. And a variable in Octo Studio just keeps track of a certain number in your project. So we can keep track of the number of ingredients the player has added by going to the more blocks category and dragging out the change variable block. And I will create a variable called ingredients. And now if we change ingredients by one, that adds to the number of ingredients we have. So after the salt gets added, we can change ingredients by one. And let's also make it so that after the strawberry is added, we also change ingredients by one. No, nope, not score, but ingredients. Uh, so let's just try that out. So when I shake to add the salt, that increases ingredients by one. And when I add the strawberry, same thing. Now, as you'll notice, when I restarted the game, the ingredients already started really high. So let's make it so that um, you know, I'll go to the bowl to add this code. Let's make it so that when the play button is tapped, we set the variable ingredients back to zero. So just to test that out, now ingredients gets set back to zero when we start, and when we add these things, the ingredients increases. And now let's make it so that the bowl will only transform into the cake if we have at least two ingredients. So you can do that by going to the control category and dragging out this if then block. And with this block, you can make something happen in your project only if a certain thing is true. So for example, we could say when we tap the bowl, only hide and you know send the message to turn into the cake if the ingredients are more than two. So let's try that out. So shake to add the salt, tap to add the strawberry, and then I'll try to tap the bowl. Except right now it's waiting for the ingredients to be more than two, but two is actually enough. So let's make it so that the ingredients have to be more than or equal to two, because if it's equal to two, then that's fine as well. So let's restart. I will add the salt and add the strawberry. And now try tapping the bowl, and now I can turn it into the cake. Um, and yeah, there you go. Now, one thing you may also have noticed is that technically you could achieve this result by adding the salt once and then adding the salt again. And then you could technically make a cake that is all salt. If you don't want this to be possible in your project, uh, there's a couple things you could do to get around that. One way you could fix it is you could make sure that all ingredients hide after they get added. So right now the strawberry actually already hides. So once you add it, it's gone and we could go to the salt shaker and say, you know, after it shakes and gets added to the mix, then drag out a hide block. So now after the player adds the salt, the salt is gone and they can't add it again. So anyway, I'd love to hear in the comments if you have any ideas on how you would wanna design that in your game. Um, but yeah, that's what I wanted to show you today. I hope you have fun making your cooking projects. I can't wait to see all the different recipes everyone chooses. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.